If Tottenham is your team, I think you were pretty gloomy after the weekend and Jose had had a go at his players and called them lazy and there was the Deli Alley situation. I think you're a bit happier now because it does look as if Gareth Bale's going to come back, even if it is only one year loan. Yeah. Got to be a good thing, hasn't it? Yeah, huge lift. Um, they lack creativity. Um, that was glaring. I think that's been glaring for a long time now. Um, Christian Eriksen had a quiet period, even the year before he left, you know, and he's the one who's got that... Uh, that's something different. You can know you can drop his shoulder, see a pass, but Gareth certainly got there. We well, certainly had it. Seven years. Let's not forget, it's seven years since he's been at the football club. And the last year he was at the football club under Villas Boas was his best year, uh, without without doubt. But the team played. Everything was about him. Mm. Very pragmatic. Sat in, let him counter attack as he done. As he still got this. Yeah as he's still got the energy and the power and the drive and the pace to be able to do this. Because single-handedly, he took Tottenham to a different level. Um, but everything was revolved around him. Now, will Jose do that? He would like to, but Harry Kane won't be happy with that. Son won't be happy with that, because they get excellent players in their own right. He's going to play with better players at Tottenham now than he did when he left Gareth Bow. So, has he still got it? That's the question. The only worry I have about Gareth is that he was prepared to go to China and see out his career. Has he still got the heart for it? Has he still got the drive? Does he really want to do it under pressure? Because without doubt, we're talking about it now. Everyone's expecting so mm. much of him. Mm. But expecting we have to remember it's seven years. Do you think he's still got the body for it? I think he has. I think he's missed a lot of games through injury. But I think he's capable. He's capable. And as I said, he doesn't have to play every single game. They've got Lucas Moura, don't forget. They've got Son. They've got, let's, say, let's, get, let's pick their front three. Is there a better front three on paper in world football? Son, Harry Kane, Gareth Bale. Liverpool might argue yeah. there is, but they're right up there. It puts pressure now on Tottenham and Jose Mourinho. Interesting. Just have a quick look, as you say, about how much football he's missed, what he's done in the last couple of seasons. You remember his brilliant goal in the, in the spring of 2018 to win the Champions League. Zidane didn't really fancy him. Hmm. Zidane then left, so he played... A lot of football, but the minute Melissa Zidane has come back, he spent a lot of time playing golf since. So you could see how little football he's played in the last 18 months. Yeah, and the difficulty with Gareth Bale, who for me is a game changer, he's such an explosive player. He's a player that's very hard to mark against because he's got so much in his locker and he is so dynamic. So whatever you try and do to put him off, he, he can do, he can counter what you have to defend him. Um, he has the ability to score absolutely outrageous goals, as we saw in the Champions League, but he makes things happen out of nothing, whether it is taking the ball on and all that stuff. So for me, very, very good player. A very, very good player that we haven't seen often enough, not by his own doing. Um, as you say, that relationship with Zidane had been very frosty and it only got worse. Real Madrid had Sorry, do we know why Zidane didn't fancy him? He scores an outrageous goal in the Champions League final and Zidane barely congratulates him. <laughs> yeah. He scores a goal of his life on the occasion of his life and the manager it might have done a, muttered a well done but it didn't feel like it watching it. I remember at the time that players had spoken to some of the Real Madrid guys and the feedback was that everyone thought Zidane was just there as a figurehead. The players were doing... The work. Yeah, the work themselves. They were self-managed, basically. And I think a few of them, Ronaldo included, so it wasn't actually surprising that Ronaldo left after that Champions League win and La Decima and all that stuff because uh, quite a few players didn't actually fancy Zidane. Um, and I think Bale cannot hide his emotions or whatever. You know what Gareth Bale mm. is thinking and feeling mm. and as as we've seen it. Um, so that relationship just has never worked. But there's a, a split at Real Madrid because the hierarchy invested a lot of money in Gareth Bale. He was a massive project for them. And they wanted him to stay. He had offers last summer, uh, like to mention China, but there were also, uh, there was an 89 million pound bid from a Premier League club for him that Real Madrid turned down because they wanted him to stay and they wanted Zidane to play him. So there's that political battle happening. If you're happening. paying him 600 grand a week, no wonder you want to play him. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. He, they made a massive investment in him. So, OK, we haven't seen him often enough. 
And then the question is, you know, as Tim saying, does he still have that intensity, that desire, that need to want to be one of the best players in the world? And it's a very hard question to answer because I can understand why he's not showing it at Real Madrid. He doesn't feel the love there. He's unwanted. Mm. He's no matter how well he trains or how well he plays, he's not going to be in the team regularly. So why must you be enthusiastic mm. or why must you be, you know, excited by your prospects over there? Yeah. You, you're not going to have it's, the right attitude. It's brilliant, isn't it? Because we simply don't know the answer. He's no, we, 31 now. Are we going to see, you know, a 23-year-old, you know, under Villas Boas playing not. the counter attack, bending them in no. from 30? yards or, or are we going to see a man whose edge has just gone a little bit well, because he's let's don't be dead he's won four champions league yeah. man's the most successful british export of all time football wise yeah but with, with, with everything what everybody said there we, we are still talking about gareth bell coming back to the premier league and maybe still showing people that he's he's still got it like tim's mentioned he could have went to china or, and you, people will probably question his um his desire now simply because it was something that he might have wanted to do but in his mind where he was, like Melissa said there, no love, you know, no matter how well you're training, no matter how well you're playing, you're not playing. And that came and he might have just thought, yeah, I'll just go and do that. But the, now it's Tottenham. The difference with Wales, when mm. he when he's on international duty, how he applies himself and carries himself when yeah. he's with his, it tells you the story about why his attitude is the way it is. He needs, to, he needs to be well, made to feel when when he it's comes all back, about him. Come he's back at his to, best. Yeah. Well, yeah, and when he comes back to Tottenham, it will be all about it. But they have to change his game a little bit. We're not going to see... The, the, the thing is, we're seeing some amazing goals there and we're all expecting maybe to see, get himself going again and maybe even modify his game. You know, you know, so, so he, like Cristiano Ronaldo's done. Mm. Mm. You know, playing in that kind of role where you kind of conserve yourself for the tip of the game, right at the end there, and make and the it's difference. A I mean, it's, a, 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 it's a shame across the board there are no fans, but I feel for Bale it's particularly a shame there are no fans, isn't it? Can you imagine his first game back at the new Tottenham Stadium with it, you oh, know, the atmosphere in it heaving, yeah. Bale, the prodigal son yeah. returns and all that. You're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to do it yourself when you're yeah. away at whoever you're I away at. I mean, the environment is going to be completely different. You know, completely. Yeah, you know, it's a completely different environment for him. You know, that brand new stadium yeah. uh, now, the, the the training ground, you know, listen, I, two months ago, if you'd have asked me, Mark, I said he's more likely to join Wentworth as a, go uh, Wentworth <laughs> a golf, golf club. club, load of football yeah. club, yeah. you know, but now do you think it looks work? like if he's going to come back there, it looks like he's really got the love again I think hopefully there's yeah. going to be no short of love you know we yeah. talked no. about everyone mm -hmm. needs love they're going to get that even though there's no fans in that stadium the fans now the Tottenham fans expect they would expect and that puts huge pressure on the yeah. manager because they're going to say now you've got the tools now mm. we need we know realistically they need a little bit more because you said the front three will be great if he comes back what about the rest of the team bearing in mind what you well, saw against Everton defensively I'm still unsure and, I, and Jose's unsure uh, the best left back they have at the club has no longer got a number, a squad number, yeah. which is Danny Rose. Yeah. You know, Danny Rose is the best left back Tottenham have. He's better than Ben Davis. Ben Davis can play left side of a three if Jose wants to go that route, but he doesn't. He likes to play a flat well, back. Well, he's going to sign, you know, Reguilon from uh, Real Madrid. Yeah, so, so that should that should put yeah, that in there. But, but we don't know if he's any good. You know, it's all right bringing these names in from, from uh, foreign countries where they never played in the Premier League. This is the toughest league in the world. And it might take him 18 months to settle. He might have a new manager by the time he settles. Because if he doesn't <laughs> perform and get Tottenham to the Champions League next season, Jose won't be there. You know, that is the criteria. You need to be in the Champions League. And they're not this year. I, th I see them finishing in and may possibly, along with a lot of other English teams, Winning the Europa League and, may, and that's the easier route to qualify mm. for the Champions League. To, to, if you ask me now, even with Gareth Bale, will they finish in the top four this year? I'd say no. I'd say Daniel would expect them to because he'd think Gareth Bale will make the difference. Will Jose expect them to? He needs to give that confidence to the dressing room, to the boys to believe they can. But on the show, what we saw at the weekend was a massive disappointment. There was no guile in the middle of the pitch. They all looked very similar. Hoiberg had come in there. Winks was poor. They all looked very similar. Lo Celso was the most improved player at the back end of last season. He can find a pass. Hopefully, he'll be back. Um, and they need to find the right blend. But at the moment... Right through is the Is this team. a godsend for no... Mourinho? Is this just what Mourinho needs after their terrible weekend? Possibly, but it's huge. Yeah, it's a lift. It's a huge lift, but it, 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 Jose knows. It adds massive pressure to him. He's done it before. He's got a free transfer in Zlatan Ibrahimovic at Manchester United. He knew that player. He doesn't know Gareth Bale. 
he knew Zlatan, he knew him as a man. He brought him into that dressing room and he won a couple of trophies with him. But I think he had better players around Zlatan. Now he's coming in, not with bad players. We talked about, we took Harry Kane and Son at world-class level, don't we not? Mm. I, I certainly do. So they've got the power going forward. I think defensively, they're not good enough. And I think they need to do something about it. But Jose will probably like the fans not being there, the way he will adapt his style. His style at the moment is to be pragmatic, sit back and have counter-attack. And mm. there's no better players to have counter-attack than Son and Gareth, Gareth Bale. Bale. Yeah. Yeah. I think he will actually be quite decisive if he's used, like Ian said, if if things are geared for him a little bit. You you not you don't want Gareth Bale trying to dribble for 50 yards or mm -hmm. whatever. Give him the ball in the final third or just outside the box and stuff where he can hurt the opposition or, like we say, you know, breaking rapidly, but not breaking on his own. He used to have to right, basically on, take... Take yeah. teams I think Son on could by keep himself. up with him now, couldn't yeah. he? Yeah. So he's got Son, he's got, like Tim said, better players around him now. He's obviously learned how to not be individualistic at Real Madrid, where, you know, well, it is a collection of really great individuals, but you have to be subservient a little bit there to the team. So he will have grown a lot. I think Jose will know how to maximize his strengths. Do you think, Melissa, that. Um... Jose, if Gareth Bale, let's say that everything was brilliant and he came and done fantastically well, would that kind of throw Jose? Because, you know, he's, that's, again, he's, that's not the kind of guy he wants around him. He wants it to, all, to be about him all the time. So if Gareth Bale comes and starts doing all great things and all the focus is on Gareth Bale... What, is Jose That's what he needs at the moment, doesn't he? Because the, oh. the, the, his face after the Everton game, and when you see how the other team started, you're thinking, Champions, 15 months since yeah, the but, Champions League final, yeah. the Champions League looks a long way away. Yeah, but the point I'm trying to make is, is that it, because yeah. it might go well like that, <laughs> Jose gets self-destructive, just yeah. mess it all up. He's yeah. that, got that vibe about him. I, I actually wanted to ask Tim a question on this. Um, in, in terms of, you said his style is to be pragmatic. One of the things I found really difficult watching Tottenham and uh, under Mourinho, and I don't know if this impacts the players or whatever, is that there's no concrete identity. So, you know, you knew what Pochettino's yeah. Spurs yeah, yeah. were all about. You know what yeah. Guardiola, City, Klopp's Liverpool. Yeah. Arteta, Arteta's Arsenal. Arteta's Arsenal. I don't know 